Ah, Super Mario Sunshine, where do I even begin? It's got Mario, it's got Sunshine, it's got Water, and it's even got Yoshi! What can I possibly find wrong with this game? I have no idea. Let the review commence! So let's see, Mario starts by going on vacation, the vacation becomes a nightmare, Peach gets kidnapped, that's the end of the story. I mean, sure, there's the whole backdrop of needing to save the light of Isle Delfino, but no! F that! Mario needs his booty, man! Because what's a vacation without a little booty? Or a lot of booty. Mario was totally gonna get- One thing I did like is how the main villain is Shadow Mario. Oh. Oh wait, um... You mean it was- I mean Bowser Jr. I- I'm- Ah, shit. I guess it was Bowser again, after all. A true Nintendo original. And if you ask me, the real main enemy here is water. Die, H2O! Just die! Oh my god, I love Nintendo. If ever they get anything 100% correct all the time, it's control. The way Mario controls in this game is just magnificent as usual. Think Mario 64, plus new flood mechanics, minus the long jump, still pretty goddamn amazing controls. Oh, and don't even get me started on how amazing the C-Stick is in this game. I mean, I watched some other reviews of this game and I heard complaints about the camera. WTF, man! All games where you can angle the camera pretty much however you want all the time are awesome! And as for what you're using these controls to do, aka the gameplay, it's pretty self-explanatory. Get through the obstacles in a level to collect the shine sprite. The end. Most of the time it's simple to understand, but sometimes it's just not so simple to traverse. We call that platforming where I come from, children. But some of the other game mechanics are used to give the objectives variance and diversity. Such as the flood with its different nozzles, and Yoshi, and this boat thing, and this thing, and that thing, and that thing over there, and this thing, and that thing. Now let me just start by saying, Super Mario Sunshine is a bright and beautifully colored game. The graphics are up to GameCube standards and it's very aesthetically pleasing. The best effect in my opinion is the water. Even though I usually deem water my mortal enemy, this game makes you admire it whether you want to or not. One cool detail they added into each of the worlds was being able to look out into the distance and see other areas of the island. Like here, and here, and here. Ooh, what's that? Pretty cool, right? But where this game started losing me was the music. Don't get me wrong, there's a few tunes that kept my toe tapping furiously, especially this one. But wait, now that I think about it, that's not even fair to praise because that's just a remix to an already awesome song from a different Mario game. My point is that the music in Mario Sunshine just didn't work for me. I guess the only word I have for this music is that it's all very apropos. Well, you know, the game takes place on an island. Let's play islandy music. I don't know what else to say here, really. The music isn't bad, I'm just saying that I think it may have been a key factor as to why I lost interest in this game when I first played it as a kid. Like, let me go ahead and point out a few songs that I don't like. Starting with the Isle Delfino theme. While it can be catchy, I just found it annoying later in the game. So basically, if the hub world music bores me, that can't be good. Another song I found extremely annoying is the music that they used when you are on a timer. Oh my god, this fucking music. It never really even made me frantic, it just annoyed me while I was trying to do some of the more difficult shines in the game. Frantic music is supposed to inspire franticism. Instead it only inspired in me bloody eardrumatitis. Watch out, it's contagious.
And lastly, there's this little jingle you hear as many as a hundred times in this game. Worst victory music ever. I feel like seven baby seals are being clubbed during the duration of the jingle. So let's see, that's seven baby seals times at least 100 shines. Yes, I'm accounting for the fact that you get multiple blue coin shines at once. That equals over 700 baby seals being abused during any playthrough of this game. Unless some of those are the same seal, to which I say, poor fucking seals, man. Somebody get Pete on the line. This guy has gotten 100% three times on Super Mario Sunshine. Goddamn animal abuser. I can see why this Mario game can be considered one of the more difficult ones. But first let me disclaimer this by saying that if you just wanted to beat this game, like just beat the final boss and not get 100%, then this game is a cakewalk. Or maybe like a pie walk, like a little tougher than cake but still fruity. But to 100% this game means to collect all the blue coins. And those blue coins are every fucking where. Seriously, every fucking where. Trust me when I say that I love a scavenger hunt as much as the next scavenger, but how the fuck was I supposed to know that this was there? Or this? Or this? Or that I had to do this? Ah! And let me get this out there right now. Why are over a fifth of the shines in this game obtained by collecting the blue coins? That was lazy. So, uh, we're up to 96 stars. What should we do now? Make another world? I mean, we're only up to seven. Let's make an eighth world! Nah, no, if that, we'll just count the hub as a world and then throw in some secret coins to collect in each world. Then they could just trade some tanuki looking bastard for those last 24 shines all at once. Assuming they could find them all. You know what? No! These should be an extra collectible, not count for a fifth of the game. Sorry, no! But it was fun trying to find them all. No, I know it was! But why couldn't they have just done another level? Because... Because they got lazy, that's why! Don't try to defend those bastards! Lazy. So yeah, this game is fun, yeah, fun. This is probably one of my best Let's Plays so far. I feel like I keep getting better all the time, and this game is no exception. Lots of good gags, not so annoying singing, good use of montaging and fast forwardage, and lots of fail. All things that make a good Let's Play. Yeah, that's all I really have to say, it really is. It was great, it was fun, I had a lot of good times, and if you want me to elaborate, just watch my Let's Play! Get ready, here it comes. The catalyst for my crucifixion. But, hate is such a strong word, maybe I should tone it down to dislike. Poor Hemplo, I dislike the terrible voice acting in this game. Okay, okay, that may be the easiest target and too cheap for me to focus on. How about this? I strongly dislike the lack of long jump. I know when you have Flood you don't really need it, but why not when you don't have Flood? Did Mario simply forget how to do all the same maneuvers he could do in Mario 64? Okay, F this. I hate how they reuse boss fights. This is just ridiculous. Yes, Mario is notorious for reusing boss fights, but usually not in the same game, except maybe Bowser battles, of course. Like, why do I have to fight this dookie stained piranha plant a total of five times? There's a plethora of Mario baddies who could have been blown up, covered in shit, and placed in the exact same places. And why do I have to fight this gloop bloop bitch three times? And every fight is just identical, just in a different setting. Shit, you also have to fight Petey Piranha twice, and this mole cannon guy twice. I mean, those last two get a slight pass because they're slightly varied each time, but still, come on, Nintendo. Shame on you. Last but certainly not fucking least, I absolutely, positively, mega sob chum div bivly despise the ending. And I don't just mean the final cutscenes, which in fact do blow dogs for quarters. I'm talking about the final dungeon, if you can call it a dungeon, and the final boss, if you can call it a boss. First of all, Corona Mountain is effing sad. Not only is it short as hell, but it's all ugly orange and brown, and it lacks that awesome final dungeon theme that psychs you up for the boss. And that boat segment can go fuck itself to death, and that'll take a lot of fucking. The sad part is that this is the last area, and it's not even that difficult. 
After all the shit you went through to get there, it's over in like five minutes. I mean, unless you suck at the game and still don't know how to play, but by this time, all the final obstacles are Drew Brees. And don't even get me started on the final battle. Oh, here we go. This shit right here, fucking disappointing. I feel like I'm not even fighting anybody. I'm fighting bullet bills and falling platforms and the elements of fire and water and... Oh snap, you mean Bowser was there? Oh shit, Bowser Jr. was there too? How did that slip past me? Shit, I need to be more observant. Okay, so this Let's Play had way too many good moments that could have just made for a gigantic montage of awesome moments. But I'm going to let you guys watch my Let's Play and see these moments for yourself. So all I'm going to show you guys right here are the top 10 biggest fails from my Let's Play. Here they are. Hello everyone and welcome back to Failures Are Us, where we specialize in failing to the highest degree. Shit, where's the last one? Oh, it's on the other side. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Oh shit, shit, oh shit, I didn't realize that was, ah, I forgot how that worked. Alright, so our only goal now is to get the fuck back over there without dying. Just get the fuck back over there. Oh, what? No! You must admit how impressive that was. What? I missed the platform. Oh my, are you kidding me? Again? Again with this? Um, God. Don't you love cage mazes where you can't tell where the fuck you're going? I know I do. Can we, like, keep going? I guess not. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. I am so lost. Please, somebody help me. Please, somebody. Somebody point the way. Rafiki. I need you. I don't know the way. A free coin. Why not? And I think we're almost there. Or I see his tentacles. Or his testicles. Ugh, I wouldn't want to see testicles. Never mind. Oh shit! Shit! Not what I wanted, dude. Not what I wanted at all. God damn it. Now we gotta climb back up to the fucking top. Ah! Lame. We're almost there too. We were almost there. Okay. Oh shit! What is go? What? Fired. Just fired. Turn in your ID badge now. You're fired. Got him. I guess so. Oh, I'm beating him. I'm beating him. We got this. Holy crap, though. Oh, what? No. Bullshit. How did that even happen? Uh, set them down, please. Oh, come on, man. Come on, Mario. Throw it in the basket. Throw it in the fucking basket. Not at the fucking... Damn it, Mario. Why you gotta be complicated? Oh my god, Mario... God damn it, Mario. We're gonna expedite this process. This is ridiculous. We get it. Let's just do it right. Fuck, I'm supposed to be good at basketball. What the fuck? Oh my god. Fuck you. Oh my god. Fuck. The one time, man. The one time. Oh, victorious. Two more. Oh my god, it's too far. Two. One more, please. Let's not make this one complicated. It needs to be, seriously. Oh, god. Take forever. Cause then it would just be identical to doing this shit 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 Aw oh, shit I I da 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 Whoa 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 oh come on I didn't I didn't want to do a wall jump Mario you son of a bitch Shit get off get off Oh come on Oh come That was dumb What the hell was that man? The joystick did not want to cooperate. I keep blaming my joystick but it's probably just me it's probably just me. <sighs> I can't go into first person mode. What am I supposed to do? Oh shit, he sent out like hella enemies. Ah, flaming assholes. Oh my lord, I can't stop, they're making me bounce. Ah. Stop it. Is this the kind of boss where you just have to kill all the enemies that keep sending out? Because, I mean, it is hard to hit a ghost, so I wouldn't be surprised. Fruits. What are fruits for? Do I throw fruits at him? Oh, shit! Wait. Ineffective? He's just laughing at you? 
You know, fuck you then. I'll throw another fruit at you, bitch. How about red hot chili pepper? That'll get you. He seems to dislike spicy things. Now's your chance. Spray him. Now's my chance. What? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to spray him? No. Maybe I am. I don't know. Can I get him? I don't even fucking know. I don't even know if I'm really supposed to hit these purple things, but I'm guessing I do. I don't know that for a fact. But... So seriously, the only way to hurt this guy is to feed him chili peppers? I guess you're just supposed to spray him with water when you can. I, I really don't see any other thing I can do. He looks like he's sweating. So I feel like I am doing damage. Let's give him that chili pepper. Eat your chili pepper, bitch. Yeah. Eat that shit. Give him that chili pepper. What the hell? That didn't do anything. Fuck. He didn't eat it, bitch. What the hell? How do I know I'm hurting him? Am I spraying him in the eye? Is that what it is? Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Am I spraying him in the eyes? Whoa, whoa. I can't move. Oh, shit. My controller dying? No, don't die, controller. Oh, no. Oh, no. That would be bad. If my controller dies in the middle of this, this is gonna be bad. Holy balls. That is a lot of enemies. Oh, my God. Can you stop flinging me around? I can't move. I can't move. No, no. This is the worst combination of enemies ever. Oh, my Lord. This is, like, wearing on me. Um... I'm skeptical that I'm even hurting him. I feel like I'm not even hurting him. Like, no joke. Am I just not understanding how to beat this guy or what? I don't understand what I'm doing. Now I'm officially out of water. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh man, I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know. Is this gonna move? Um. Yes. Uh, where's this moving to? Shit, where are you moving to? Uh, where are you going? Oh, shit. Okay, let's see if we can, like... No, no, no! Oh, we're gonna make it! Yes! Oh, what?! Bullshit. Get that one. Oh, get that one, get that one. Ah, oh, shit. I'm not gonna make it. Oh no! Shit. When he runs out of juice, he seriously disappears. Fuck my life. What the f <sighs> Fuck! Shit! So we have to like, spray them quickly or something? That works. I was about to say. Oh, that was just good though. Let's just, let's just waste more time. Float right over it. Oh, what the f- You dumbass. You fucking dumbass. Why did it- Ugh, God. Why was my nozzle switched? I didn't switch nozzles, did I? Oh, come on. Come on. This is some boosty shit right here. Why does it keep landing on my head? Um, what's behind me? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, am I just making this as complicated as I possibly can, or what? What the f- I'm getting very irritated right now. Somebody saved my soul. No Yoshi? Oh, what are we supposed to do then? We're we supposed to ride on the... Okay. Don't jump in the water. Instant lube. Uh... Oh! Yeah, okay. This is gonna be fun. Come on, get the jumping one. Oh, shit! There's always a chance. There's always a chance. No! Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? Tell me this pipe just takes me to the beginning. Oh, are you shitting me? You have to do that in one go? No fucking way. You have got to be motherfucking shitting me. You have to... No. This is the most heinous crime I have ever seen ever in my life. Please, somebody in this world... Why? Why? So again, I feel like I have to elaborate that I'm not actually giving the game a rating. I'm just trying to go through each category of the game and give my own opinion on each aspect. 
But I will say this much, like I did with Super Mario RPG. Super Mario Sunshine does not fall in my top 10. I think it's pretty plain to see that it would not. As for top 50, still not there. Top 100, I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably not on there either. I'm thinking even if I narrowed it down to my top 10 GameCube games, oof, that would be tough. But I still think it would fall short. It may be in the top 20, but definitely not top 10. And there's still some GameCube games I haven't even played yet. So we'll just have to see how that list goes one day. So I want to thank all you guys so, so very much for watching this review. It was so much fun to make. Sorry if I got a little carried away there bashing on your favorite game of all time. My bad. Sorry if I had to give my opinion on it, but it's just not better than the other Mario games. It's just not. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next review whenever I get around to it. See you then. Peace.